The first step once you're logged into the drop system is to click Create VM Drop. Here you will name the campaign. And then browse to upload your voicemail message. While this is uploading, I'll mention we suggest using the app called AVR, which allows you to record HD quality messages with ease. You can also get professional voice messages created at voicebunny.com or upwork.com. Both are pretty inexpensive. Now the message is uploaded, you can play it from the UI right here just to make sure it sounds good. The next piece is for managing callbacks. This allows you to specify what you want to happen when your prospects call back. The first option here is immediate call forward. This option will forward any callbacks directly to the number you've specified. This could be the appropriate sales rep or call center floor. The second option is IVR with the same call forward. This option lets you upload a voice message that will better qualify the prospect before they are forwarded to your specified number. For example, Thanks for returning our call. We were calling to inform you that we believe we could save you significant money on your monthly mortgage payment. To talk to a lending specialist, press 1. To opt out, press 2. The system is configured to automatically forward anyone that presses 1 to your specified number. Just make sure you mention that in your message. Pressing 2 is programmed to add this prospect to your DNC list, so they do not receive any future voice drops or SMS messages. Be sure to mention pressing 2 for this in your message. So we upload the file. And again, you can listen to the file here. Now on to the third option. This option will simply play an IVR message. There's no forwarding of calls with this option, which is used mostly to drive people to a website or just to give them some informative information. Again, pull your file. If you need to, listen back here. At this point, you can hit Next. And the next screen allows you to set up VM drop settings. Note these are all optional settings. You can hit next from here if you don't want to configure them. The first option is hourly pacing. Using the hourly pacing feature allows you to set an approximate number of drops you want sent every hour. The second optional setting on this page is to show a missed call. Our system deploys a true peer-to-peer -peer ringless drop. We do not run the two-call trick like many competitors. So, with that, you don't have the first half ring that the two-call method has. Showing the missed call will bring you more callbacks as it gets the recipient's attention better. Note, with this setup, you are leasing numbers from us, which we can seamlessly forward directly to you, using the same settings you specified for the previous screen's callback forwarding. You need to accept that when you check the missed call box. Checking this box will generate more callbacks. The last option on the screen is for setting business rules. If you click on this, you can restrict sending drops to certain states or even certain specific area codes. You can also specify if you do not want to, you can also, you can also specify, oh shoot. You can also specify if you do not want to send to certain carrier networks. Now you can hit next again, and you'll be on the schedule screen. Here, you can specify the hours you want your VM drops to go out. Note that the system is on Central Standard Time. The last step here is to add records. Your file must be saved in a CSV format with correct formatting. Click on Add Records. Browse for your file. page down, and click Preview CSV Format. 
page down, and the column header should be named phone or phone two with no spaces, and your numbers for this column should have no spaces or dashes. You're only required to have the phone column present. Other columns are for SMS messages and dynamically using the prospect's info in those. Watch the SMS video for more information. Once you have uploaded your file, you can hit close and click campaigns on the left and your data will show in the queue shortly.